All right, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna do a versus video between the Rigid and Cobalt XTR. Now we are using the Cobalt XTR ultimate output and we're uh, four amp hour. And on the Rigid, we're gonna use the, the Octane uh, with a three amp hour Octane battery. Now, yes, there is a one amp hour difference, but please do not blow up my comments about it, I know. Rigid does not make a four amp hour octane battery and Cobalt does not make a three amp hour ultimate, sorry, I, I got, there's a new name, I gotta get used to it, ultimate output battery. So the best, the best these companies can do against each other is three against the four. Sorry. Punch through some concrete in this episode as well. We're gonna do wood and concrete. So I wanna do this, uh, like I said in the previous videos, I have to redo these tests with concrete when it comes to the hammer drills. Because the weather's outside now, now I can keep my garage door open and let all the dust blow out uh, during the warm weather. So during the cold, I do not want to keep that open. Now I did an ultimate showdown between uh, for wood for a couple of tests for all the hemorrhages that I have. I'll put that up here and check that out. So we are going to do uh, a versus video between these two. And we are going to do an ultimate showdown again with different tasks. So let's see how... Uh, so let's look at the specs on these and see how these are. All right, so for the Cobalt, uh, like I said, we are gonna use a four amp hour ultimate uh, output battery. This is model number, uh, it's a half inch metal chuck, a 24 point clutch plus uh, an extra transmission wheel. The model number for this is K, uh, KXHD124B-03, a 24 volts, uh, it's two speed settings, first speed zero to 55, uh, zero to 550, and then speed two, zero to 2000. And it does not say anything about the torque. I'll put the torque in right now. And, it, and this is 32,000 beats per minute for the hammer feature. All right, so for the rigid, uh, three amp hour octane battery will, will be used. Battery is full. And sorry, the battery is full on the octane. Uh, the battery is full on the cobalt. So the model number for the rigid is R8611506, half inch metal chuck, LED lights on the chuck, which I find that fascinating. I do not know how useful that actually is when it comes to lighting up your workspace. Uh, two speed settings. First speed is zero to four, 500, zero to 500, uh, zero to 540 RPMs on speed two, zero to 2000. Uh, beats per minute is on speed one, zero to 8,500, and on speed two, zero to 3,100. So when it comes to the hammer feature, Cobalt has it beat by 100 beats. So one thing that's crazy about Rigid has a 107 point, uh, uh, over a 100 point clutch, which is crazy. It has its own transmission for hammer, drill, and uh, screw, which is on the side. So yeah, let's see how these do against each other. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. I got mine right here. So we are gonna be using a four x four pressure treated wood. We're only gonna do a couple of tests. We're not gonna go all out. All right, we are gonna do the cobalt first. Oh, gotta put that to drill. There, much better. All right, so ready, go. Time. Let's do one more hole. All right, so ready, go. It, it went through, it did it. There we go. It is Rigid's turn. There we go. Now, Rigid's drill is huge. I will say that that chuck is absolutely enormous. That's a half inch chuck. And the chuck itself it dwarfs the actual hole. All right, so speed two. Battery is uh, at three bars, wow. Darn. All right, I'm gonna have to let that charge for a, for a little bit. Alrighty, the battery is now full, 100% full. Took like about 15 to 20 minutes for it to charge. There we go, it's on speed two. 
bolts on drill. All right, so ready, go. Time. Do one more hole. All right, so ready, go. Time. We are going to do one hole with the one and a half inch spade. Uh, one and a half inch. Ready? Go. Up. Oh. It went through. It got. It just got caught on the shrapnel on the bottom of the wood. Uh, we are on. Speed two, it's on drill. All right, so ready, go. Yep, same thing, it's through. So uh, for both of them, when it stops like that, I'm gonna stop the timer because it's already through. It just, it gets stuck on the bottom. It gets stuck on the shrapnel. Especially for a spade bit this size. All right, so we are going to do two holes with the uh, uh, three and a quarter inch Milwaukee a bit. We're going to time them individually. That is tight. All right, so. Ready, go. Punched all the way through, no problem. All right, so ready, go. No problem, awesome. That is a hard task to do without stopping. All right, uh, what we're, we're doing is we're uh, time them individually, but put it in one timer. All right, so ready, go. Oh, it stopped. That's surprising. And the bit came out. Make that tighter. All right, let's do it again. It's uh, it stopped, so sorry about that. It's not my, not my fault. All right, so ready, go. All right, that's twice. All right, so on that test, Cobalt's the winner. Cobalt's the winner of that test. All right, next we are gonna do a three and a half, a three inch Milwaukee hole dozer. So that's good. And right, so ready, go. My bad, my bad on that. Time. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Very good. All right, so ready, go. Up. Time. All right, we are going to use the cobalt blower, which uh, unboxing and versus video coming up with this against the Ryobi blower. But when it comes to these, uh, hammer drill bits, these have equally been used. So, 
We are going to do the cobalt first. I do not know what size these, sizes these are. I'm sorry about that. Lower on. All right, so. Ready? Go. Time. Fantastic. All right, it is Rigid's turn. Make sure hammer feature is on. A little hard to turn on Rigid. All right, we are good to go. All right, so ready, go. Time. I'll adjust the timer on that. All right, so Rigid needed the flute to be cleared out along with the dust that's in the hole, and the cobalt did not. It did not need that at all. All right, speed two, it's on hammer. All right, so. All right, so we're ready, go. Time. Let's do a quick temperature reading. The 76, 82, 95 degrees. 95 degrees for the cobalt. All right, so it is Rigid's turn. Right next to it. Go. Time. Let's take it out. Wait, first let's do a temperature reading. 68, 73, 87, 75, 81. Rigid is at 81. All right, let's do a final temperature reading. These actually feel like they got warmer. 101, the uh, cobalt got to, and 94, the rigid uh, is the highest point. So both of these did a fantastic job. Now, which one, uh, which one did the task faster and easier? I do not know the results are there. But like I said, these uh, concrete tests are coming up. The weather's nice outside, so because like my, when you do the concrete test, this stuff goes everywhere. 
See, it's all, I already cleaned off my phone a few seconds ago and it's already back, it's already back on it. I'm not sure if you could see that, but there's complete dust everywhere. So that's why when it comes to the concrete test, that door needs to be open so it, most of it goes outside. But yeah, both, both of these did a fantastic job. Uh, more tests are coming up between these two and other uh, brands. Uh, we are also going to use different batteries in, uh, in the next test when we do go against these two with different tasks. And so, yes, uh, this summer, this summer is going to be full of these tests, working on the lawn, work on the house, work on the cars, work on the boat. So that's pretty much it. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.